Okay, let's talk now about measurements of location and position. Specifically, I want to talk about working with the mean. Um, the um, learning objectives. We want to compute and interpret the location of the center of a data set along the number line. When we're talking about the center of the data set, we're really talking about where it's located along the number line. Uh, we want to compute and interpret the position of a data value relative to the other data values for a data set and identify the appropriate measure of center for a data set uh, by distribution of shape. So these are learning objectives for the next uh, series of, of several videos. Specifically, in this video, we're going to concentrate on uh, the mean. Now, when we talk about measurements of location, we're making reference to where along the number line the center of the data is located. Um, if I look at uh, the data here, if you look at this distribution, the center is roughly here someplace. Uh, the center here is, it, well, how would you define the center? It, it's not obvious because it is, it's not symmetric. Um, we could pick a... Um, a value over here somewhere where the, the center of the bulk of the data is, or because this is um, skewed to the right, we may think, well, you know, maybe we need to talk a little, little bit over here. Um, you know, there's more than one way to describe the center, and we'll actually talk about this idea a little bit later. When we talk about the measurements of, of the center, of the measurement location, what we are referring to is what's commonly referred to as measurements of central tendency. Measurements of central tendency. Measurements of the center. And the, the most common measurements are the mean, the median, and the mode. Now, the mean, let's talk about some um, symbols that we really need to be extremely comfortable and familiar with. In English, we'll talk about the mean. The parameter value, the symbol that we will use to represent the true mean, the parameter value, will be the Greek letter mu. The statistic will be x bar. If our variable is x, it's the bar over the top that says this is a sample average. Um, if our variable is y, it's y bar. If our variable is smiley, then it's smiley bar. It's whatever the variable is with a bar over the top. It's the bar that says this is a sample average. And what does it measure? It measures um, the center of the data as a balancing point. Okay, so the mean is a measurement of the center of the data as a balancing point. In other words, I'm going to have equal weight on both sides. Now, it is, in fact, the most common measurement for the center. So the mean is, it, we talk about the average to say the mean. Everybody understands the meaning of that word. Um, the measurement scale for the data has to be at least interval. At least interval meaning either interval or ratio. We would not be calculating an average um, of nominal data. What does it mean to do an average of hair color or eye color? Or no data. What would it mean to do an average of military ranks? It doesn't make any sense there. So we need to make sure our data is at least interval. At least meaning interval or ratio. Now, like I said a few moments ago, uh, the mean measures the center of the distribution by balancing the weight on each side. So if I have data values 1, 2, and 3, you know how to calculate the mean. It's, just, it's the same as the average you've done it back in grade school. Add up all the numbers, divide by the number of values you just added up. So if I take 1, 2, and 3, add them up, divide by 3, I get 2. And if I look at this, I have equal distance between the mean and the other data points. It will actually balance the data right in the middle. Matter of fact, I'm going to say 2 is x bar in this case. So if I take each data value and subtract from it the mean, so 1 minus 2 equals a negative 1. The negative 1 simply tells me I'm below the mean, and that's a distance. So it's a directed distance. I'm 1 below the mean. Um, let's see. 2 minus 2 equals 0. I'm at the mean. And 3 minus 2 equals a positive 1. Well, that positive 1 would tell me I'm above the mean. If you add these up, then what you're going to get is 0. Now, 
that was kind of obvious with one, two, and three, but it doesn't matter what your data values are. You pick any data values you want, calculate the average, take each value, subtract from with the average, add up all those distances, and you'll get zero every time. With then rounding. And because of the calculator, you, you have to do some rounding, and you may not end up with exactly zero. But for the true average, or the average of any data set, if you, if you can go out as many decimal places as, as can possibly happen in nature, it will be zero every single time. Now, let's calculate the sample mean um, considering these data values, uh, 32, 1, and 30. Now, x bar equals, and this right here is the formula to calculate the sample average. It's 1 over n times sigma, um, i equals 1 to n of the xi. Now, what does that mean? Well, this sigma, this capital letter sigma, is a Greek letter for capital sigma, and what it means is add them up. It simply says, add these up. And the index is from 1 to n, where n, little n is the sample size. So the first time through, this is going to say take x1, add it to the next one, which is going to be x2, the next data value, add it to the next one, which is x3, add it to the next one, yada, 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 add it to the last one, which is xn, and then divide by n. In this case, n is 3, so we take x1 plus x2 plus x3 and divide by 3. So specifically for this example, we would have 32 plus 1 plus 30 divided by 3. That's exactly what this formula is telling you to do. And when we do that, we get 63 over 3, which is 21. Now, again, what does it mean to be balanced? Well, if I take a look at um, these values, see, 21 is not even in my data set. If I take 1, subtract from it 21, what do I get? A negative 20. If I take 30, subtract from it 21, I get 9. If I take 32, subtract from it 21, I get... 11. If I add these up, I get 0. So again, this 21 is the balancing point. It's the balancing point for this data. The balancing point does not have to be a value um, in your data set. Okay, um, that's really basically all there is to um, calculating the mean.